because we got so wet. Like, look at my pants. This one is definitely worse. It's just so satisfying. But look at these strawberries on here. My anxiety has just been through the roof. I'm gonna go ahead and pour probably about like a third of this into the water. God, you know my hair is so soaked right now. Also, too, please ignore what's going on on my under eyes, especially this side. That allergic reaction that I talked about, like at the end of the last vlog, has gotten worse. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go get Benadryl or something today at some point. Whenever there's a little bit of a break in the rain, I don't think that I'm gonna get a full break. But whenever it's just like a little bit lighter, because it's coming down so hard. So Leo and I got fucked out there we were driving and some asshole in his jeep wanted to get ahead of us but we were coming up onto a corner he was on this side and then the sidewalk was on this side and then i was here and he decided he wanted to speed up and get ahead of me but he sped up into a puddle because that was a corner and it was a huge jeep so i got like a huge wave of water all over my car it was like hard water and i couldn't see for like a good couple seconds and because i had leo the windows were cracked a little bit just enough so that he could like sniff and get some enrichment that way and my car got wet inside leo got wet poor thing he like cried because it scared him and then also he got splashed but yeah that guy just literally like sped up to get ahead of me sped right into the puddle caused this massive wave that literally enveloped my car and then like sped off i was like that was kind of a dick move and i was taking leo out right now because like when we first got out the rain was actually light and then progressively as we drove it started getting like heavier and heavier and then when we got to the neighborhood where i was walking him everything there was flooding so i literally let him sniff around long enough to poop and then we got back in the car because we got so wet like look at my pants freaking ridiculous so it's definitely gonna be a rainy day in i think today is the worst of the storm that we have going on and then ironically by tomorrow the rain should be done by early morning so we have this like really crazy rain yesterday and then even crazier today which is fine because the original forecast had actually said that it was supposed to like rain all week but now it just went down to monday tuesday so i guess i'll take it yeah everything is flooding right now it's ridiculous as soon as we saw like how bad it was flooding inside of the neighborhood i was like we gotta turn around we gotta go back home so we are back home trying to dry off i'm just i'm so wet but i'm gonna make myself a breakfast sandwich because i really need to eat after that There's also like irritated spots. I have no idea what's going on. But anyways, made my breakfast sandwich and also a hot coffee. Trevor's actually home. We're probably just gonna hang out for a little bit while I work. But I need to like play some games with Leo or something because he's gonna go nuts if he can't get any physical activity out. <laughs> Daddy. So update, I took Benadryl a little while ago and I just, in the last few minutes, have been like ice rolling my eyes because both are puffy. This one is definitely worse. Like, I have no idea what is going on right now. I really can't think of anything that I've changed in my skincare routine in the last few days. Nothing that I can think of that I've used like at the time that this started or right before it. Like I've used a couple of new things since this started so it wouldn't be those that caused it maybe exacerbating but nothing new that I can actually think of that kind of kicked this off. So I have no idea what's going on. This kind of reminds me of there was a time and I hope that this is not what's happening again and of course you guys this battery is dying as soon as I'm about to go into this story time. So one second. Okay, and we're back. But anyways, this reminds me of, I think it was like four years ago at this point. I had something very similar to this happening where the skin just underneath on my under eyes was just like really rough and they were getting like almost like rashy. And then I think if I remember, it did cause like the skin to puff up kind of similar to this. That one was really horrible. This is not quite as bad actually, uh, but the like dry, rough, painful patches were way worse. I'm definitely puffier this time around. My skin is just not as rough 
and not in as much pain but yeah this feels like that but again milder as far as like the rashiness i guess goes but worse as far as puffiness goes oh my god all my mascara is flaking off onto this that time i was able to figure out what it was and it was the ole henriksen that like vitamin c eye cream that they have it was that and then like there was another skincare cream that i was using that i had like just switched to i switched to both of those at the same time i never figured out what ingredient it was but i stopped using those right away and then I switched to this one e.l.f. eye cream. It's their illuminating eye cream. And that was the only thing that wasn't irritating my eyes. And it actually helped to like really soothe the skin underneath. So I'm almost wondering if I need to go and get that. But after my eyes recovered, I only used that one for a little while. And then I started like slowly using other eye creams. And for the most part, I didn't have that reaction again with other eye products and eventually you guys know i settled on using the glow recipe avocado retinol eye cream i love that one i have been using it still i'm almost wondering if i need to pause it just for now just because i don't know if the retinol in that is making this worse i don't think it's what's causing this but it might just be annoying my eyes right now but right now it's the only nighttime eye cream i have but the other thing is the replenix eye cream and i've been using that for years i think i'm on like tube number 11 or 12 and then for the glow recipe i think i'm on like pot six or seven so i really don't think it's those i hope i'm not developing any kind of reaction to those but yeah i can't think of any new eye products that i've used i haven't used any eye masks or anything i'm always wondering if it's something just topical that i'm just applying here but again i can't think of anything new and then also like i'd point out in the last vlog there's like this one random hive or rash or something down here that also developed at the same time so i'm like it can't be my night cream the cerave one i've been using that one for years and the current pot that i'm using I'm like halfway through it so I've been using it for at least like a month or two without any issue so I doubt that it's that because I, I wouldn't start reacting to it halfway through. Same with all my other skincare. I don't think I've opened up a new bottle of anything in the last week because you know I don't know if like there was just one that was like came from a bad batch and had like something wrong with it but I can't think of anything so yeah I have no idea what's going on. I think it's the not knowing what i'm reacting to that's more annoying than anything more annoying than like the actual symptoms i'm experiencing but i actually found this ice roller i think it was yesterday so that was like really good timing so i've just been taking it out of the freezer every once in a while today to just kind of like soothe my skin and hopefully get my eyes to depuff it looks like it's been helping a little bit but it's just it's so bad i'm racking my brain i have no idea what's happening and it's really bumming me out. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm just gonna wash my face off because we think we figured it out. It's an eczema flare-up. And I don't know why it didn't occur to me before that this is eczema. I just always assumed it was just an allergic reaction, which it could be. I mean, eczema can sometimes be an allergic reaction, but it's like for sure eczema. And we actually do have like medical eczema cream here. So let me just wash my face off and just kind of like start from scratch here. And hopefully that'll help. But yeah, it's like spreading down to like here and then, and now a little bit right here. So no idea what's going on. I am stressed. So maybe it's just like a stress response, which I'm not gonna lie. I will gladly take the eczema flare up as opposed to my other high stress response, which is alopecia. <laughs> so I'll take the red flaky skin <laughs> for a little bit. It's fine. I'd rather not lose quarter size chunks of my hair, but I figured, let me just kind of strip down to the base here, take off all the skincare, and then the very little bit of makeup I put on this morning, and then I'll apply our eczema cream that we have, and hopefully that'll help. But it would make sense that this is eczema, because I've talked about it before, I get eczema flare-ups inside my ears, and I've actually been having one at the same time this has been going on. I don't know why I didn't think to associate the two together, because I actually used this cream last night for my ears, so now I know for the future if this happens again this is like the third time that this has ever happened to me in my life where it's flared up on my eyes and like on my face and stuff usually lately it's my ears but before that like when i was a kid and stuff it was like my arms and legs oh my gosh Ugh, like even the water stains right now this is driving me nuts but my eyes do look a little bit less puffy than this morning but it's just spread <laughs> Ooh, that stings so bad but i do need a con so I'm not going to do any of my serums right now. The only thing that I am going to put on is some eye cream just because I want to keep the skin moisturized. And this glow recipe eye cream is like super thick and hydrating. So I'm actually going to use a lot of it. I typically don't use this much, but 
right now. I just really want to moisturize that. Because I'm not going to put the eczema cream like on my under eyes. I, I'm scared to do that. I don't think it supposed to go that close to your eyes so that's why i'm like let me just do eye cream there but yeah this is crazy i've never had an eczema flare-up on my face like this like i said last time it happened even though i didn't know it was eczema it was just right here right on my under eyes but right now it's like going everywhere that feels so much better oh my god and then i'm gonna use my crv cream because it's very very gentle and it's like super thick also i'm scared to use anything new because i don't know if something in an unfamiliar cream would trigger it that explains why i have a patch on my neck then because i was like what do i spread here and here like really there wasn't anything okay well i'm in the middle of doing laundry so i'm gonna throw in another load i'm trying to like race against the rain we gotta break in the rain for a few hours so since our laundry room is outside i'm like trying to do laundry but yeah i'm gonna throw another load of clothes in and then i'm gonna make myself feel better and i'm gonna make some pork belly and ramen all done with the pork belly and you guys i'm not even exaggerating i risked my life for this pork belly it was fighting back so hard it splashed me in my stomach my hand and in my face twice like the hot oil splashed in my face twice which i'm sure just works wonders for eczema you know they always recommend just burn your face to really treat eczema so that's what i did but anyways that is my rainy day dinner tonight the rain is starting to pick back up a little bit so this is just kind of like perfect for the vibes Good morning, you guys. The sun is out. It's shining. For how long? We don't know. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. Today is going to be rainless, which is so nice, but it is going to rain again tonight. So we're not quite done yet, but we are close. But anyways, I just got in a Nespresso order. A little refill here. I got my Dopio Bianco. This is the one that I like for hot coffee, which I think... No, no, I want a nice coffee since the sun's actually out. And this came like just in time. I used my last Stopio yesterday. I still have like one blue bottle pod left. And I've been like trying to save it for like a special occasion. But the other one that I got is my favorite of the regular pods that I get. This one is the Cafecito de Puerto Rico. And then for my single shots, I always split them. So I have the El Cafe, which I usually do. And then I always have the El Ticio on hand. And then I just switch off every other and i just go in order i don't have like a particular main bigger pod that i like to combine these with so i usually get like a little bit of a different combo every day so i've got some extras and then i'm actually gonna see if i have any more of the chiaro this is the other pod that i use for iced coffee i don't know what it is i always oh there's a squirrel perfect it always bums me out whenever they come out with fun flavors in the bigger pods the lungo i just feel like the i think it's lungo lungo the seven ounce size i just feel like they're not as strong as the double shots and like the espressos so i never actually use them but it like makes me sad when they've got like really fun flavors in those they usually do the gingerbread in that and stuff like that and it just I don't know, they just don't hit the same way. But I need to make myself breakfast. I should have been toasting my bread that whole time. And then I did want to mention to you guys, I ended up defrosting these chocolate cheesecake bites from Trader Joe's last night. And y'all, they are so freaking good. If you're a cheesecake fan, definitely try those out because they are amazing. But I am going to get an iced coffee working and some loaded toast because I have a meeting in a few minutes. <laughs> 
but I just love how satisfying the drawer looks whenever it's just been stocked. I mean, I know this row is a little bit sparse, but still like from here up, it's just so satisfying. Before I head out to walk Leo, I just got in a TikTok order and just got excited and unboxed it. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I got because this is an addiction. It needs to stop, but the order is here. So I will still share it with you guys. So the first thing that I got, I'm going on a bachelorette trip in about a month. So there's gonna be a lot of girls in one Airbnb. So I got this rechargeable travel vanity mirror. What I like about this one is that it lights up around the edge so I can do my makeup pretty much anywhere, which I'm sure is what's gonna have to happen with so many girls in one house. And then I also got these slippers. I'm actually gonna put these away for a little bit. I got these for like spring and summer as like my little house slippers, but look at these strawberries on here. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Honestly, I don't really know how much I would wear them in summer because these might be a little hot for summer, but at least for like spring transition from winter and then like spring itself, these will be definitely nice and cozy to wear in the house. And then I got more pajama sets because that is just part of my personality now. So these two right here are both like cami and short sets. This one's just like a gray jersey material and then it has like the lace edging all over it. Just so freaking cute. I always size up in these so I got a large in both. And then this one's a little bit Valentine's Day themed. So it's black with white hearts, just like a little v-neck cami. And then I think the bottoms are so cute. It has like the little ruffle edge and then this cute little white bow to tie the waist. But just a heads up, neither of these are functional on them. They're just for show. And then the other pajama set I got, this one I'm probably gonna wear on Valentine's Day. This one's so cute. So it's this pink one with hearts and flamingos. Similar cami top to the other one with the little v-neck, but these ones are actually pajama pants and then has like a cute little edge here. And then I also got this black tank top. It's like a square neck tank top. I'm just looking for more like basic pieces because there's so many times I go to get dressed and I just want a basic top that's just like flattering and supportive and stuff and this definitely is like the kind of material that you don't have to wear a bra with so I grabbed that and then I actually already have this sweater in the green but I had originally wanted it in the blue but it was sold out when I purchased the green one so I went back to get it once the blue was in stock and I think I sized up on this one this is just such a cozy sweater it's actually really soft especially for the price I was very very surprised and I love the green one so much it fits so well it's super super cozy and comfortable so definitely when the blue came back in stock I wanted to make sure that I got it but anyways that is my latest TikTok shop order. Again, I need to stop, but it's, it's very hard. <laughs> which actually is like almost cleared up, thank God. I mean, there's still a little bit here. My eyes are nowhere near as puffy as they were yesterday. But I still have like some rough patches. But this one time I was like wondering if the eczema was like a response to like anything I was eating or applying to my face. And I was talking to Michelle about just like stuff going on this week and I realized I think that this is 100% like stress induced. So I actually have the water warming up right now because I'm gonna take a bath and try to get myself to relax. And hopefully that will encourage this to continue clearing up. So yeah, I have the water going and then I need a headband. Yeah, this week has actually been really stressful and I don't think I like really chatted with you guys about a lot of it. So first off, my anxiety has just been through the roof because number one, I'm on my period, of course, and I always get such bad anxiety right before and during my period. So that was already making me go like a little bit haywire. Then on top of that, I've been on call for jury duty all week. So every day at five o'clock, I have to check the website and see if I'm going in for jury duty. And basically every day when I've noticed that it's like 4.30 or later, it's like paralyzed me in the day because I'm so anxious about like finding out if I have to go to jury duty and like obviously I can't check the website until after five, which I know is so dramatic. If I get called in, I get called in. I can't do anything about it. Obviously I haven't been called in yet, luckily, fingers crossed. But yeah, that's just been making me so, so anxious. And I've been anxious about it since last Friday. And then I think the eczema flare up started on like Saturday or Sunday. So that does make sense. But to help it along while I'm taking a bath, we're already starting to fog up. I think that the water is pretty much ready. I'm gonna go plug it. So I'm going to apply this Glossier Moon Mask. This is a moisturizing mask and it's a soothing face treatment. So I think that this will definitely be great to kind of like help soothe the areas that are getting eczema. But let's go ahead and put in the bubble bath. So first step, I have this Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Foaming Bath. I'm going to go ahead and pour probably about like a third of this into the water. with this frosted berry bubble bath just for like a little mix of smells. 
And then finally, I'm gonna do probably about half of these pink Himalayan bath salts. So I hydrated my skin a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply this mask. I don't know why I just applied so much to my forehead when the bulk of the issues is like here. It's fine. Moisturize everything. Wow, I look crazy. But this mask kind of just sinks into the skin. So it'll literally look like nothing in a few minutes. But I am going to let this soak into my skin while I soak in the tub and just watch some TikToks and unwind. I definitely feel much better, a little bit more relaxed. That was a very, very nice like half hour soak. I'm gonna generously apply some eye cream. Still stinging a little bit, but the rough patches do feel like they're hydrated and not as rough. Again, not complaining too much because as far as my body's involuntary stress responses go, eczema is the least of my worries, so we will take it. Then I'm also gonna apply the Course X Advanced Snail, what is this, Mucin Powder Essence, just to like really lock in as much moisture and hydration as possible. I got that a little while ago. I really like it. I don't think I ever like talked to you guys about it or showed it, but yeah, I just wanna lock everything in. And then I'm actually gonna, for my cream, I don't know why I didn't think of this last night, but the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, this one's so moisturizing. And I used to use it as a night cream because it's so thick, but yeah, just really kinda like, seal everything in <laughs> perfect and then we got another rum night but this time i did not have to risk my life for the pork belly because they were already cooked from yesterday so i just reheated it but it looks so good and it's kind of perfect timing because i can hear the rain slowly starting back up again so i'm gonna go ahead and eat my ramen and just relax for the rest of the night so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one